How can a declining species be saved? Conservationists all throughout the world are troubled by this significant subject. The now has 41,415 species on the red list, including 16,306 vulnerable species of mammals. Many of these species are in danger due to climate change, habitat loss, poaching, and natural predators. While some species like the almost extinct northern white rhinoceros receive considerable attention, others vanish with little notice. But occasionally, certain animal populations are able to rebound. People all throughout the world are encouraged by these conservation success stories and believe that additional species may be rescued. Here are 10 species of animals that survived extinction. One of the most well-known creatures in the world is the giant panda, usually referred to as the panda bear or just the panda. But throughout the 20th century, a significant portion of the habitat for these famous bears was lost. In the 1970s, the panda population fell precipitously due to poaching and other factors, with barely 1,000 animals left in the wild. Since bamboo shoots and leaves make up nearly all of their meager food, they are especially vulnerable to famine. They also seldom spawn, making it extremely challenging for them to organically rebound if their number falls too low. The panda has been the focus of one of the most intense and well-watched conservation programs ever during the past 50 years. To aid these animals that had survived the threat of extinction, the Chinese government erected various reserves and severe rules prohibiting the shooting or sale of pandas. These initiatives have led to estimates of the number of pandas in the wild being approximately 3,000. Pandas are still listed as a vulnerable species by the IUCN despite no longer being considered an endangered species. The biggest vulture and land bird in North America is the California condor. The former range of these enormous scavengers included Mexico's northwest and the whole southwestern United States. However, pesticides like DDT, poaching, and habitat destruction contributed to a substantial drop in their number over the 20th century. Scientists deemed them extinct in the wild in 1987 because there were so few of them left. Only 27 condors survived at that time, and they were all kept in captivity. The American government started captive breeding programs at a few national zoos to safeguard these historic animals. The program eventually cost about $35 million, including $2 million a year for maintenance, making it one of the most costly conservation initiatives in the history of the nation. The program still produces benefits, although slowly, despite its price. As of 2019, there are 518 individual condors living in California. Although each bird has been tagged and is being constantly watched, many birds have been released to the wild. The California condor is still considered a critically endangered species by the IUCN owing to its low population and potential threats in the future. One of the two subspecies of white rhinos is the southern white rhinoceros. Southern white rhinos nearly became extinct at the start of the 20th century, despite being more numerous than its rarer relative, the northern white rhinoceros. When their number was ravaged by poaching and habitat degradation, biologists first believed they had become extinct. Then, in 1895, they found a small colony on a single South African wildlife reserve, consisting of just 20 people. Conservationists invested a tremendous amount of effort and money on repopulating the population during the previous century. Nearly 19,000 to 21,000 southern white rhinos are still alive today, mostly in South Africa. They serve as one of the greatest illustrations of animals that survived extinction. Although some of them are now found in the wild, they are mostly found in zoos and in exclusive game reserves. Due to risks from poaching and habitat degradation, the southern white rhinoceros are still classified by the IUCN as a near-threatened species, despite their amazing comeback. 
The 12 species of gigantic tortoises that are indigenous to the Galapagos Islands are together known as the Galapagos Giant Tortoise. With a weight limit of 919 pounds, they are the biggest species of extant tortoises. Their extended lifespan they may live up to 177 years old is their other notable characteristic in addition to their enormous size. They nearly went extinct in the 20th century, despite their long existence. They saw a demographic drop from over 250,000 in the 16th century to about 3,000 in the 1970s. Numerous causes, including overexploitation, habitat loss, and alien species predation, have contributed to this reduction. Galapagos tortoise hunting, trading, and export are currently prohibited by law, and environmentalists keep a tight eye on the species population levels. The majority of the surviving tortoises are kept in predator-free natural areas. Additionally, conservationists created captive breeding programs aid in promoting reproduction among surviving individuals. Around 15,000 Galapagos tortoises may be found globally, making them one of the species that survived the end of time. Due of their sluggish growth rate, delayed sexual maturity, and variances across island species, the IUCN still ranks them as vulnerable. The biggest sea lion in the family is the stellar sea lion. They once inhabited the northern Pacific region in great numbers, from Japan to California. However, in the 1970s, their western population in the vicinity of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands plummeted for unidentified causes. By the 1990s, the population had decreased by 70% to 80%, reaching a low of 18,000 people. The reduction of their food supplies due to overfishing, shark and orca predation, and climate change are among factors that have been proposed. Under the United States Endangered Species Act, stellar sea lions were declared endangered in 1997. Currently, 46,000 people are thought to make up the western population, according to academics. Additionally, whereas the eastern population is presently prospering, the western population has not yet fully recovered. The IUCN classifies stellar sea lions as a near-threatened species due to the uncertainty surrounding their recovery status. The American alligator, sometimes known as the gator or common gator, is the biggest reptile in North America. Additionally, they are one of the two kinds of alligators that are still alive today, the other is its smaller relative, the Chinese alligator. Few people are aware that they are among the creatures that survived extinction, despite the fact that they are still apex predators in the wild. Alligators nearly vanished entirely from many of their native habitats as a result of widespread hunting and indiscriminate killing. By the 1950s and 1960s, their populations in Louisiana, Florida, and the rest of the southeastern U.S. had significantly decreased. The American alligator was designated as an endangered species by the U.S. government in 1973 in an effort to reverse this loss. Commercial farms started growing alligators in captivity, ending the practice of killing them for their flesh and skins. The southeastern United States is now home to about 5 million alligators, with over 1.3 million of them living in Florida alone. The IUCN rates the American alligator as a species of least concern as a result of this amazing comeback. The peregrine falcon, formerly known as the duck hawk in North America, is the world's fastest animal. During their hunting stoop, which can reach up to 242 miles per hour, they drop down at tremendous speeds. They are a globally distributed species that thrives in a variety of climes and environments. However, due to the extensive use of pesticides, particularly DDT, they became an endangered species in the middle of the 20th century. In North America, their population fell from over 7,000 to a few hundred, while in Europe, it went from 8,000 to less than 1,000. In actuality, there wasn't a single peregrine nest in the eastern United States by 1963. The calcium in animal eggs is thinned out by DDT, which reduces the amount of eggs that hatch, as researchers quickly discovered. 
Most nations swiftly outlawed DDT and other organochlorine pesticides after making this finding. Additionally, researchers started breeding peregrines in captivity to aid in the falcon's recovery. According to current estimates, there are close to 140,000 peregrine falcons worldwide, which led the IUCN to classify them as a species of least concern. The American bison, sometimes called the American buffalo, is one of the most well-known species to have survived the end of its natural range in North America. The Great Bison Belt, an area of terrain spanning from Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico, was home to bison for thousands of years. They became a representation of the Old West and provided many Native American tribes with vital supplies and sustenance. The massive slaughter and commercial hunting of bison throughout the 19th century, however, almost led to their extinction. By 1889, there were just 541 animals left, down from approximately 60 million in the late 18th century. Since then, several reintroduction campaigns, many of them led by indigenous tribes, have worked to increase their number. The Intertribal Bison Council is one of these initiatives that is of particular importance. Today, more than 300,000 bison roam North America, mostly on private property. Additionally, on unfenced public lands and in nature reserves, some 15,000 bison roam free. Their number has increased significantly since a century ago, but it is still much below its peak, and their range has been greatly reduced. The IUCN classifies bison as a near-threatened species as a result. The blue whale is the biggest mammal on Earth and the largest member of the whale family. These magnificent animals may grow to a length of 98 feet and weigh up to 199 tons. Near the close of the 20th century, they risked extinction even though they had inhabited almost every ocean. Due to increased demand for whale flesh and oil as well as improvements in boats and fishing technologies, whale populations were destroyed by widespread slaughter. Whalers killed roughly 380,000 blue whales between 1900 and 1970, leaving just 0.2% of the original population alive today. Although blue whales were given some protection starting in 1939, the International Convention for the Regulation of Whaling didn't fully protect them until 1966. These initiatives have helped to steadily increase their number, which was estimated to be between 5,000 and 15,000 worldwide in 2018. They still have to deal with both natural and artificial hazards, though. These risks include collisions with ships, being caught in nets, noise from the water, pollution, and killer whale predation. The IUCN classifies blue whales as an endangered species, despite the fact that their number is growing as a result of these persistent dangers. The bald eagle is one of the most recognizable eagle species in the world and the national bird of the United States. These powerful raptors are only one of the numerous species that survived the 20th century's extinction crisis. Various sources place their early 18th century population between 300,000 and 500,000. Unfortunately, their population was drastically diminished by the use of the chemical DDT, habitat degradation, illegal hunting, and pollution. Only 412 nesting pairs were still present in all 48 contiguous states by the 1950s. The Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act of 1940, approved by Congress to save their extinction, outlaw shooting, or hunting bald eagles. Bald eagles were given further protection following their listing as an endangered species in 1967. Bald eagle populations are once again thriving across North America because to a concerted effort by governmental organizations and conservation organizations. Today, the lower 48 states are home to more than 316,700 different bird species, according to biologists. The IUCN rates the bald eagle as a species of least concern due to its extraordinary comeback and ongoing strong safeguards. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on this. Remember to like our video to show your support. 
goodbye.